We have Emmanuel Bohr, men's 5,000. And if you could start off by just giving us a walkthrough of that race. Uh, the race actually went even. It wasn't fast enough. And Paul wanted to be faster. And uh, we kind of tried to exchange lead and see if we can strengthen the field. But then I realized that the field was not you know, strengthening. So I went, I went back and at like 400 meters to go, I thought I had it. And 300 still, I was still in contention. And I thought I had until the 150 meters when Paul is sad and I could not respond. And when I tried to close at the 100 meter was, was far a little bit, yeah. And what were your expectations going into the final today? My expectation was to make the team because I came in uh, 10,000 and uh, I wasn't feeling good. I would have just scratched that and do just the 5K. And I just raised that 10,000 because I was coming from high elevation and could not rest, uh, recover well. But then after that, I recovered really well and I did well on the prelims. And then I was expecting to make the team. And the race was moved to, to earlier in the day, but did the heat play a factor at all in, in your race? I think it did for some, it strengthened the field a little bit and we could not like kick each other, you know, and it was good. Okay, and we have a reporter just uh, requesting that if, if you could give us another walkthrough of, of the event, please. Everybody's just a little slow and getting on oh, Zoom, I apologize. That's fine. So the rest plan was to go a little bit faster, but then it started out with 64s and then it slowed a little bit and then we picked up and then Paul went in front and pushed it. And, and he was calling me to you know exchange the lead so we could all keep an honest. But then I realized it wasn't, the field was not, you know, reducing in size. So I went back and we just ran. And the last lap, I thought I had it. And even the 300 meters, when they saw I looked back, I saw, yeah, like five of us. And I was like, I need to just get two of them. And then when Paul did a surge at 150, I didn't respond that and tried to close 100 meters, was a little bit far. And, I saw it was, it was it's over by that time. Question from Weldon Johnson. Coming in, did you think your chances were better at the 5,000 or the 10,000? I think the 5,000. I think uh, I, I had both chances, but then I wasn't recovered for 10,000 because we went to 10,000 feet and the body could not respond well. And, and you know, when I when came back here, I felt a little bit tired and I just ran the five ten thousand. But then if I had rested for 5K, I think I would make the chance. And what will your recovery look like after after this? I uh, yes, the, the night before actually I I didn't sleep because I was frustrated. And then I started rehydrating, resting, doing some pre-race, and the body camo responded. But then after the prelims, my body shut like I could not sleep. So I haven't slept for three nights. So after the prelims, I didn't sleep. The night before, I didn't sleep. Last night, I didn't sleep, you know. And I think because when my brother made a team, I, you know, I guess I was hyper, you know, with that and affected my sleep, you know, yeah. Another question from Weldon Johnson. And Hillary said, growing up, you were the steepler and he was doing long jump. Uh, when is the last time you ran a steeple? Would you ever consider running it again? I ran in high school and uh, I was really good actually. I was going all the way to proficient level. But then when I started jumping, cause there was no water bits. But then when, when we went to proficient, the, the one coming from other uh, areas could have a water bit, so they have an advantage. So I was fifth in profession. I didn't make the national, but then after that, I didn't consider running. I thought about it, uh, but I might, I might try one time and see, and see. Um, I think there's a chance too, you know, in the near future before I retire, you know.
Yeah, that's one of the do lists for me. Okay, a reminder to the media to please direct your questions to the chat. If you're currently writing a question, please use the raise hand feature so I know to wait. Okay, and I'm not seeing any raised hands. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.